Hey, are you dealing with elderly parents? And so a lot of us have elderly parents. We're helping them with their planning or just running their lives or getting older. And you know, they're in a phase where it's harder to kind of take care of themselves. So the kids are stepping in. Certainly I am in my own family. But one of the things I wanted to mention, and I wrote a blog on this, we're putting out tomorrow, there's a link above for that blog, but uh, one of the issues you have to be concerned about is being on title of accounts with your parents. So let's say you have a joint account and you think you're helping your parents by being on that account, bank account, investment account, so that you have some control over it with them, helping them out. The issue though is that if something happens to your parent or you and there's a liability in your life or their life, you are exposed to each other's liability. So for example, God forbid your parent gets in a car accident, you know, as they get older, it's always hard to know when to take the keys away and that's a very sensitive issue. But if you know they're driving and they get in an accident and they injure somebody and they're getting attacked and a creditor is looking at their assets, their bank account, their brokerage account, then all of a sudden you as a co-owner are now dealing with their creditor. And so, you know, that's not a good situation. Also, the reverse is true, that if something happens to you or maybe to your spouse and your family's dealing with a liability, maybe you own a rental property, a tenant sues you or, you know, something else happens and a creditor is looking at your stuff and you own an account with your parents, now your elderly parents' assets that are in an account with you are exposed to your creditors and that account gets all, you know, wacky and creditors are, you know, looking at it, trying to freeze it, trying to grab control of it. So when you're helping your parents understand the liability each of you has with each other and make sure that you just structure everything properly. Our experts here recommend a lot of times uh, stocks, bonds, and cash, limited liability company when there's meaningful assets and accounts. So, you know, you can own it jointly that way and everyone's protected. So just wanted to pass this along. Look at that blog. Uh, we're gonna have a lot more about this dealing with elderly parents. We get asked about it all the time. And certainly if you ever have any questions about your own planning, dealing with your parents, how things are transferred from parents to kids, don't ever hesitate to reach out to me. Happy to get you connected to the team for some really great complimentary input. Thanks so much.